Hey everybody. Thinking about doing a video today. I had somebody call me out on Facebook about planting coins or finding more than others, which is a little bit ridiculous because I always hunt with friends and they do just as well as me, sometimes better. You know, it's not a competition where all they're having fun. So maybe we'll do some live digs today. Maybe we'll test some signals. We'll see how this weather does and we'll catch you on the first hole. First desirable out of there. A nice beautiful field today. It's a 1920 weedy, so early one. Maybe there's some silver. Let's keep going. Out here with friends, there's John. Looking for some treasure. <laughs> I got what I thought was something good, but it's plated. Check that out. You see that come out of the hole and you're like, oh! but unfortunately it's a plated ring. So got a lot of the gold on it though. Maybe there's some real gold out here. We'll keep going. All right, everybody. It's sort of a scratchy tone down in there. Can't make that up. Pretty sure it's a buffalo. Buffalo nickel, but uh, get a quick rub on it and I'll come back to you. Definitely a buffalo. Not a bad sign. Where's the silver? So we'll keep at it. All right, we're still out here. We got an Indian. It's either like 1908 or 1898, something like that. Let's see if we can flip it over. Looks a lot better on the back. Where's the silver? I think maybe this got it all last time. So we'll keep plugging along. All right, this goes to all the haters out there. It's been a little bit slower smart start this morning, but we have our first silver of the day. Can you see it? That is 100% of silver. And I'm thinking either a barber or something. Let me spray it off and come back. Now that's a pretty coin. 1911. I didn't see a mint mark, but great condition. So let's see if there's a couple more floating around. All right, guys. Maybe attempt a live dig. We'll see. Hear that? Now on this site, that sounds more like a silver dime, but it could very well be a weedy. Well, once I pop the hole, I'll come back to you though, because I'm trying to do this with my phone. All right, just pop the plug. This one's a little bit scratchy, but I mean, you can't make that up, guys. That's a silver dime all day. Probably another barber, but we'll spray it off and come back. Looks like 1906. This one's a little bit more worn. Uh, no mint mark on this one either, but it's two silvers, both barbers. Let's keep going. Still plugging along. There's Andy and John trying to find the goodies. But I just popped another Indian. Looks like 1901 or so. Not bad, not bad. We got two silvers, two Indians, a buff, and a couple of wheats. And a plated ring. Let's keep at it. All right, guys, I had a slamming surface signal. I didn't even, almost didn't dig it. I thought it was a can, but check that out. Silver quarter. I'm pretty sure it's a barber. So I'm going to spray it off and come back. Well, there it is. Sure enough, a barber quarter. I might have nicked it with my shovel being careless because it was on the surface, but that's great condition. Looks like no mint. But that's a freaking sweet coin, Barber Quarter. Let's keep going. Uh, all right, we're still out here. Another silver. Can't make that up with all the dirt on it. It's another Merc. Or actually, sorry, first Merc of the day. Uh, that one is 1918. I didn't see a mint yet. So let's let's look for a 16D. And we'll keep at it. Looks like we have another silver. I just popped the plug. See if you guys can see it. Right in the center of the screen. All right, let's go down together. There it is. Oh, I just dropped it. Looks like another barber. Let's spray it off and come back. It's 
sounds good enough. There it is cleaned up, folks. It is an 1898 Barber Dime. I did not see a mint mark. I will check again when I come home. As for all the haters out there, I think we're up to at least five silvers, so let's keep at it. Got Andy on the hunt. Andy on the hunt for some silver over there. I just popped another nickel, pretty crusty, but I'm leaning toward V nickel. I'll just have to clean it up when I get home. There's not much I can do with it out here. So keep at it. Andy's way over there. You can barely see him. We're back over here by the fence where the property line ends, and I got another Indian. So, but this one's like it's got some schmooze on the front. I mean, it's, I don't know, probably early 1900s, late 1800s, based on everything else, but I'll clean it up when we get home. There's John over there trying to find a couple silvers. He's got like a couple of barber dimes. Andy's still back there. And I got another Indian. Looks to be 19, 1900, 1906, or 1909, I don't know. A little bit crusty, flip it over. A little bit crusty, but definitely an Indian, so maybe there's another silver floating around. We're still out here. Andy over there. Me over here. Another buff. It's three nickels for the day. Maybe there's a gold coin out here, but that one's not quite as uh, bad a shape as some of them, but it's upside down, but hey. I will keep at it. Well, folks. The plugs in the holes don't lie. There's another silver. Can you see it? Let's go down together. Uh, I pressed the stop recording button, but I think it's a Merc. Let's clean it up and come back. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Yeah, it's a 1917, and this one has an S on it, so. Um, it's upside down, but let's see. Flip it right side. There we go. 1917S early Merc. 16D would be nice. Just pull that out of a hole. I think it's like a... I don't know what they call it. Like a horse bit... A bit boss or horse like reins guide or... I forget what the thing it's called, but... I've seen it before. It looks like it's got like a lead back or something in it, but... Did some horse racing here, so cool to find one of those. Back on the board with another Indian. This one's like 1880 something. I don't know. I have to clean it up when you get home. 87, 83. So not not too bad. It's a little crusty. I'll clean it up later. It's been a bit since we last filmed, but we're on the board with another silver. Came out of there. See if you can see it. There you go. Let's clean it up and come back. This one's a little tarnished, but it's a beautiful 1923 Merc. Pretty sure it's 1923. Let's flip it over. A little crusty, but it's pretty under all that tarnish. Let's keep at it. Still putzing around. Don't really want to give away where we're at. Different spot, but... There's Andy and John poking around, but guess what I got? Another silver. Can't make this up. Popped it out of the plug. Right there. Let's see what it is. I get all tangled up in my thing. I believe it's a Merc. Let's clean it up and come back. I don't want to rub it too hard, but 1929. It's in great condition. Maybe there's some more poking around. Well, out here with some friends, and one of them got two barber quarters. I already got one, and guess what I got? A second one. Check that out. Yeah, mine was even. I thought it was, but... Let's spray it down and see, then come back. I'll clean it up more when I get home, but I believe it is a 1911 bar recorder. Has some tarnish on it. Not bad though, I'll take it. Come on, haters, get some. Alright, 
Hello YouTube family. Back to doing our little wrap up and uh, I'm going to check on what we got. You know, I know if any of you are on the Delmarva metal detecting page, there was uh, some random dude just basically being a troll saying the stuff I do is fake or planted or whatever. So I made a video just not that I need to, but so everybody knows everything's legit. So let's go over this stuff. So there we go. There's all the goodies through all the trash away already. We've got a mess of wheat pennies up at the top. I'm guessing that's at least 10 to 15. Uh, a horse rosette. Nothing on it, you know, but it is like lead back or whatever. Uh, the gold plated ring was a heartbreaker. It's already like flaking off. Um, you know, it would have been pretty back in the day, but just a chunker. Got on three nickels, uh, two buffaloes, and a crusty V. Um, I haven't really got dates on them yet. I know the V nickel's probably not going to have a date. The buffs might. Got on a nice little tribe of Indians here, though. It's pretty cool. Check that out. 1887, 1903, 1908, 1901, and 1900. Uh, the 1908 does not have a mint mark. I did check that. And time for the good stuff. We got on nine silvers. Beautiful 1904 Barber Quarter. I may have nicked that. I don't know if that's a modern scratch or not. Uh, we got a 1911 Barber Quarter. Great condition. It's a little bit tarnished, though. It's hard to see. I did not want to try to clean it too much, so it's still got some tarnish on it. 1898 Barber Dime. No mint mark. 1918 Merc. I don't think that had a mint mark on it. Maybe it does. 1918D. 1911 Barber Dime. No men on that. 1898 Barber Dime. No men on that. 1929 Merc. Nothing on that. 1906D Barber Dime that's worn out. 1923. It's actually a very pretty coin underneath all that crust. No men on that either. It's still nice. The last one is a 1917 Merc. Looks like S mint mark on that. The site is fairly the site is fairly heavy into the barbers. So what I'm thinking is definitely was 1890s till about the 1930s. I don't think it went much past the 30s. Um, based on the multitude of the older silvers and the Indians. So there you go. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next hunt.